let's get into the agenda, guys. We're gonna go into a little bit of background on me, why you should be listening to me regarding your ATM needs, okay? Next, we're gonna go into how you can start generating passive income with ATMs within 30 days or less. And then we got my boy Getem. Getem is one of our teammates at ATMtogether.com. He is gonna go into the key factors regarding your LLC. And lastly, we are going to be talking about our ATM masterclass. Hey guys, this is Paul Alex from ATMtogether.com and ATM Business for Beginners on Facebook. If this is your first weekly live, welcome. I'm going to be your host for the next 45 minutes to an hour. I'm going to roll in one of our teammates, get him Jonas, in the next couple of minutes to show you guys about the LLC. Overall, if this is your very first live, welcome. You guys are in for a treat. We provide so much value every single Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific Central Time. 8 p.m. Eastern time inside of this group. We're one of the biggest communities on the ATM industry on Facebook. Remarkable what you can do with digital marketing as you guys are going to um, hear my story in just in the next couple minutes. With that being said, show us where you're from. What city, what state? Please interact with the live guys. I'm going to go ahead and be reading the comments as I go. Trust me, I will try to get to everybody's comments as I'm doing this, guys. Trust me, you're going to see in this live how I do, I do things. And I'm going to be all over the place. The whiteboard, PowerPoint presentation, trying to control two computers at the same time. So you guys are going to see, but you guys are in for a treat. Super informative stuff regarding the ATM industry. And um, with that being said, let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Okay. If this is your first live, go ahead and comment live. That's going to be L-I-V-E, L-I-V-E. -E. Go ahead and comment live, guys. So the reason why I'm going to ask you guys during the live presentation to comment so much is because it helps us grow as a group within Facebook. Yes, Facebook knows when you guys are interacting within the group, when you interact with posts and all that jazz. So ultimately, it's going to push our Facebook group to the top, okay, on the top of um, anyone who's looking for passive income, okay? So we need you guys to grow. And this is why we're able to actually provide these valuable trainings every single Tuesday, guys. So if you are watching this Wednesday morning, tomorrow, Okay. And this is the replay for you. Go ahead and comment replay. That's going to be R E P L A Y comment replay. Just so my guys know who is watching the live and who's watching the replay. So they could go ahead and interact with you guys during the actual presentation. Now guys, we're going to get into the PowerPoint real quick. It's going to be a few minutes and then we're going to get into all the good stuff. Okay. So just give me a couple seconds while I set this up. And by the way, you guys are in for a treat. Um, actually, I'm, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to tell you guys the agenda for this training. Okay. So just give me a sec. Okay. Let's go ahead and do share screen guys. I'm pretty pumped to actually announce this. And you guys are going to see why in a minute. If you guys ever been part of our lives, you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, guys. So give me a big thumbs up, that thumbs up emoji, if you guys can see my screen. Okay. Or somebody just type out, Paul, we can see it. All right. So first person to do that, and then I'll go ahead and get started, guys. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up or just say, we can see it. Okay, that's, that, that's the index figure, get them. <laughs> okay, all right, let's do this, guys. Okay, welcome to Tuesday's Lives. I'm your host, Paul Alex. All right, let's get into the agenda, guys. We're gonna go into a little bit of background on me, why you should be listening to me regarding your ATM needs, okay? What makes me the authority in this industry, okay? I've only been online for, I'm gonna say about 15 months, all right? I, I've never been with social media. Um, I was always against it. I come from the era of MySpace, okay? At the age of 34, it is what it is. 
but I was busy uh, with my career and then being an entrepreneur and then doing my tangible ATM business. So overall, I joined back digital marketing, I'm going to say in late of 2020, guys. So with that, let's continue with the agenda, okay? So next, we're going to go into how you can start generating passive income with ATMs within 30 days or less. And then we got my boy, Getem. Getem is one of our teammates at ATMtogether.com. Many of you guys know him. He's a phenomenal consultant. If you guys ever talk to us on one of our free informational calls, which are roughly about 10, 15 minutes, he gives you a ton of information. Plus, he is a guru with crypto, guys. So pick his brain if you ever get to talk to him about that. He is going to go into the key factors regarding your LLC. And I think it's super important because now that we have officially uh, starting last week, over a thousand clients into our automation program, which I'm going to tell you a little bit about later, um, we have seen the mistakes we have seen the good parts, the bad parts, the real, the ugly regarding doing your LLC, guys. So we've experienced it quite a bit with uh, a lot of our clients who have enrolled into the industry. And overall, we're here to give you the key factors that you need to know to set up your LLC correctly when it comes to the ATM industry. And then lastly, we are going to be talking about our ATM masterclass. Yes, yes. It is officially announced, guys. Now, here's the great part about this. If you guys were with us in 2021, okay? Let me see. How many of you guys were part of this group in 2021? Go ahead and comment 2021 now. I want to see who has been riding with us for the past year. The reason why I say this and the reason why I ask, I just want to know. Because if you were, you know of our ATM Masterclass. We held it in October of 2021, guys. And ultimately, we gave away an entire ATM business. An entire ATM business, guys. Like literally $10,000 worth of stuff um, to one lucky winner. And it was the day, I believe it was on Halloween or the day after Halloween. Phenomenal. We did a six-hour uh, session on Zoom, me and the entire team. Uh, we even brought ATMs and we uh, manipulated it in front of you guys. We showed you the ins and outs, the tech, the sales, the prospecting, the marketing, absolutely everything. It was remarkable. Now, if you don't want master classes, master class is basically a, a four to six hour session with me and my team where we break down absolutely everything. We're talking about from the time that you start from LLC, even if you are green, we break down step-by-step step everything. Basically, you could go ahead and get started within your ATM business within that session, that one-time session, and it's awesome. So we are bringing it back and I have some additional announcements that's gonna go with the masterclass that you guys are gonna like. So if you're brand new, you're in for a treat, I'm telling you, we provide so much value in these live trainings, you're gonna see in just a minute. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and continue with the agenda. All right, so let's go into the background. So my name is Paul Alex. I am the founder of ATMtogether.com. To give you guys a rough or a summarized version of ATMtogether.com, it is the first ATM automation service online that helps entrepreneurs like you start your ATM business and create a secondary source or an additional source of passive income. The idea came from when I started my ATM business. I started into the ATM industry six years ago, guys, when I was working my nine to five. And I'm talking about 60 to 100 hours a week. Okay. I been a serial entrepreneur my entire life. I've always worked a nine to five majority of my life, but towards, I'm going to say the end of my nine to five career, I ultimately wanted more time for myself, more time for my family, more time for the important things, guys. At the end of the day in the United States, um, everybody, everybody works extremely hard. Every single one of you guys. So we have to look into the future to see how we can build as many sources of income for ourselves, for our families, for our well-being, right? Because at the end of the day, you guys heard the term, 
your average millionaire has about six or seven different sources of income, which is absolutely true. Okay. So with that, I got back into digital marketing in 2020 and I saw a void in the industry. What was the void in the industry? The void in the industry was the fact that there wasn't a program out there. There was courses, but we don't sell a course here, folks. Okay. So if you're here for a course, I'm actually going to do a big favor right now. I'm going to give you a free mini course, a free guide, free PDFs, and we have literally over 50 recorded live trainings from last year where I dropped down. I, I dropped so many gems, LLC, marketing, prospecting, sales. Um, we talk about vaulting. We talk about all the intimate details that you need to know about the ATM industry. We talk about it all, guys. So if you're looking for that information, if you're looking for the free stuff, go ahead and head over to guides, which is going to be the top of this Facebook group. That's going to be G-U-I-D-E-S guides. And you could go ahead, check out all the free content, check out hundreds of client testimonials that we have of happy clients that have used our services because we work as a team here. So to break it down, guys, I went from one ATM to 30 ATMs within 18 months of when I started my business, okay? And when I did that, I was able to create a five-figure a month income off of that. Now, that is on top of what I was doing at my nine to five, okay? So you're, you're probably like, Paul, that is crazy. What is crazy to me is the fact that I kept working 60 to 100 hour weeks continuously without thinking about my health, without thinking about my mental state, about my spirit, my overall morale, guys. By, by almost the seventh year of working that much just to afford the little things, right? The little things that people want, like vacations, maybe a bigger home for your family, you know, the important stuff, the important things that we work for, right? So at the end of the day, that day came where I was like, you know what? This is not sustainable. At the age, getting into my early 30s, okay, I'm 34 now, but in my early 30s, I started getting lower back problems. I started feeling tired all of a sudden, you know? And it's true. As you get older, you start feeling it. You start, you know, cracking a little bones here and there. Can't work out like you used to. It is what it is, right? You're just going to get older and older. We're not getting any younger, guys. So we have to work smarter, not harder. So ultimately, once I was able to establish that, then I got into the digital marketing game because, hey, my entrepreneur hat came on and I was just like, hmm, what are these business experts or business professionals online doing, educating other folks and showing them exactly what their expertise was, right? So ultimately I was like, hmm, well, I know a little bit something about the ETM business. Um, I'm a little bit savvy with sales. You could say a little bit over a decade of sales. And ultimately that's what I did. I came online, I networked a little bit and I created a team, a virtual team where we established a call center that facilitates anywhere between 70 to 80 locations a month for our clients. We were able to facilitate a vendor who ships out the ATMs brand new from the factory and also helps with the network, the internet, and even helps our clients one-on-one -on -one with programming the ATMs, which to be honest with you guys, scared me because I'm not tech savvy. I'm not. I'm great at sales, talking to people, doing presentations, marketing, all that jazz, right? But I'll be the first one to tell you guys, I am not the smartest person. And I don't claim to be. I don't know everything. When I mess up, I'll say I'll mess up. Trust me, okay? So with that, we basically brought a team of experts together, almost like the adventures, if, if we got any Marvel fans, okay? I know Hugh, one of my consultants, he's gonna be like, yeah, right? But overall, guys, I brought a team of experts to help you, to help you become successful. At the end of the day, I tell every single client that works with me, 
if I can't help you become successful, there is no point of you starting this business. Okay. So ATM together within its first year got launched January of 2021. And in January of 2021, then it grew to 800 clients within its first year. Flash forward to last week, we accomplished a thousand clients. Now you're probably wondering, Paul, what is this? An MLM, a scam, a franchise? What is this exactly? No guys, this is services. We provide services. That's all ATM together does, okay? We are your one-stop shop for ATMs, the network, the internet, the free process, which I'm sorry, it is the network, right? Location finder services, and then the knowledge. Overall, you're dealing with six to seven figure entrepreneurs who were able to establish themselves in the industry by knowing what they know the best, which is this, okay? So that's a little bit about my background, guys. Now. The picture to the left, it's actually going to go um, hand in hand with what I'm going to be talking about in just a bit. And guys, I see how much does it cost to start up? How much is, I'm going to go into that, guys. P patient, okay? There's no instant gratification here. Delayed gratification is the best thing. Trust me. Good things come if you wait, okay? So, I got the presentation for everybody saying, same here, same here, how much does it cost? We'll get to there, okay? All right, so with that being said, the picture to the left, that is our last contest winner. Now, our last contest winner, Monique Lenore. This contest was very special. And the reason why is because Monique she actually was looking to join our automation program. And the automation program, she told me initially, hey, Paul, I was actually saving up to go into your program and to work with you guys, help me set up my business, uh, educate myself in the industry and all that jazz. And to my surprise, because I'm still not used to digital marketing, guys. I'm not used to the internet still. Monique was like, yeah, I've watched a few of your lives. And she actually knew word by word on most of uh, the things that I was saying to her during our training. During our training, I was explaining to her the sales process, the marketing process, how to approach clients, how to approach cold call clients, um, you know, all the good stuff, right? All the stuff that you guys need to know in order to be successful in this business. And no, no kidding, guys. She was able to tell me every single thing like I just said it on a live, on a recorded live. It was amazing. I was just like, wow. I was, I was shocked. So Monique ended up winning an ATM business from us. Not only that, but I flew her out to San Diego where me and a couple of my consultants are actually at. Where we, where we work out of, okay? Majority of our team works remote. We're nationwide, okay? And our call center's international, okay? So with that, we took her out to dinner. We had a team dinner. We had a one-on-one -on -one mastermind, which was phenomenal. And she got to experience what San Diego has to offer. Nice weather, the beach, the, the environment, guys. You know, ultimately, this is why I moved to San Diego, is for the environment. Okay, guys. So with that being said, that's my little background on me. If you guys have any questions relating to the actual training, which I'm going to go over in just the next couple minutes, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below, guys. Now, once again, now let's go into the next training. How can you start in generating passive income with ATMs within 30 days or less? And I'm going to do this on the whiteboard, guys. So go ahead and follow along as I do this presentation. And let's take it from there. All right, cool. So I'm going to move it over here, guys. Boom. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, guys, as, as some people don't believe it, because majority of these trainings, they're typically recorded. But no, this is, this is actually live. 
<laughs> this is actually live. And a lot of people are like, Paul, this is not live. This is recorded. You're not even answering our question. And that's why I had to make that remark, guys, because I kept seeing, what's the price? What's the price? Guys, the price, if you guys actually do your due diligence, okay, you have all that information under guides. I say this every single time, every single time in the training. No one's hiding the price. I'm going to tell you the price of how much it's going to cost you if you want to start this business by yourself and how much it's going to cost if you want to go with our team, okay? Overall, we charge an upfront fee, and that's just the transparency of things, guys. At the end of the day, we don't have no reason to hide the price, okay? This is why we actually have live consultants that talk to you and even give you free information before you even buy anything. We're, the only, we're one of the only companies that does that within this industry, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. Okay, so 30 days or less, guys. And let's see, no, I wanna make sure that we actually have a good visual here, guys. I wanna make sure you guys are able to see this, okay? So let me go ahead and, and get the lighting. Yep, that looks pretty good. What's up, James? Okay, cool. All right, guys, so I'm not going to cover heavily into the LLC and the EIN. And the reason why is because, get him, my teammate, he is going to cover the key factors on the LLC on the very next lesson, okay? So I'm going to tell you from experience, I just launched a new company. It's called Consulting for Influencers. I had to file for a new LLC, okay? And I use Inkfile.com, guys. It's one of the best websites to go to if you want to expedite this took me 30 minutes in fact okay it took me 20 minutes to do the llc and the ein and then another 10 minutes to apply for my business credit card guys okay doesn't take that much time if you've been procrastinating on doing this we have tons of free lessons just ask any of our teammates we got um, get them. We got Hugh. We got Juan Carlos. We even got Faik and Andrea in the comments to help you guys out if you guys have any questions. Okay. So from there, once you guys get your LLC and your EIN established, that should take you no longer than 30 minutes. Okay. If you haven't done it, then something's wrong there. You're procrastinating. With that being said, second thing you're going to need automatically is your bank account. Now, let me go into the bank account with and with the ATM industry. Okay. Now, <laughs> let me move this camera real quick. With bank accounts, it is a high risk business. What are the what does that mean, guys? High risk business meaning that it is vulnerable to money laundering. Okay. It's cash driven, guys. It's ATMs, right? So with that being said, um the ATM industry has gotten major exposure in the past three years online. So because of the simple concept uh, regarding ATMs and getting established, a lot of banks have been getting a lot of foot traffic from a lot of newbies, okay? People that uh, they're like, oh, I just got to buy the ATM and open a bank account. Okay, cool. Let's do this, right? They show up to the bank, not prepared, Okay. So that's the number one thing. I always tell everybody, please be prepared. The reason why is because even if you go to a bank that approved your friend, your friend might have already brought all of the documents, was probably on their J, on their job, and they were good to go. Now you come in and you're like, okay, well, I got my LLC, I got my EIN. It's a business bank account. I've done this several times for real estate. I got my own businesses doing something else. Uh, I'm an investor here. This industry is different, guys. Okay, take it from me. I've, I've done several businesses. I've explained this several times, but I like to give you guys clarity on absolutely everything just because simply with this industry, they're very particular on a couple of things, okay? So here are three key points that you guys need to remember when you guys are going to your bank or you're gonna get your bank account. Number one, make sure you have the LLC EIN done, which is the very first step. Number two, identification, passport, valid driver's license. Number three, make sure you have an ATM processing agreement. This is the biggest 
piece or the missing link to, to everything. Okay. And this is what majority of newbies end up missing out because they haven't done their due diligence. They haven't done their research. So make sure before you go to the bank that you've actually talked or got a few bids from different ATM companies. I always recommend getting a few bids, just like if your car was to break down, you're not gonna just go to one mechanic, no. You wanna go and get several bids, you wanna shop around. And then ultimately, not every single company is going to be the same, guys. Like my company, for example, ATM together with a one-stop shop, right? A lot of people like that. A lot of people like the fact that you could get everything from us and ultimately you're dealing with the same people day in and day out, right? And then you have other companies that would just offer you the ATM, other companies that will offer you some other stuff. At the end of the day, just shop around, please, okay? Due diligence. Now, once you guys actually go and get approved by your bank account, a uh, couple of things. Number one, make sure that the bank account that you actually get approved for is a business checking account. Please do not try to go with a personal checking account. The reason why is because one, this is going to affect you during tax season, okay? Number two, um, your account will get shut down within a few months. You might get a banker who might be new or might not be educated in this industry. They might open the bank account, you might get lucky. And then a few months down the line, when you have a booming location, right? For your business, they're gonna call you and be like, hey, we got to shut you down. You only have about a week to find a new uh, bank. Now you're scrambling. You're stressing out. Okay. This is probably why I have so many gray hairs, but um, happened to me, not with the personal checking account, but it happened with me with a business checking account. And I always recommend to try smaller credit unions or your local banks in your city, in your area. Probably wondering, well, Paul, how do I do that? Go on Yelp, use your resources, go on Google. You could do this on your own. Literally will only take you about a day or two. And the reason why I say a day or two, guys, is because you're going to have to go get that process and agreement from an ATM company, okay? So it might take a little bit of time to communicate with them. So with that, uh, once you have the bank account, once you have your LLC and your EIN, hey, we're almost there, right? So let's go with ATM and processing. Now, if you guys don't know what processing is, no worries. I'm going to explain that to you. Okay. I got you. I got you guys. So processing is the network that you need in order to facilitate your actual transactions through the ATM. Overall, when a client goes to your ATM and withdraws your money, because this that that's one of the number one questions we always get. Hey, Paul, whose money is in there? Am I borrowing it from the bank? Am I borrowing it from you? Who's giving me that money? It's actually your money, guys. So when you guys start off, you guys can start off with one to $3,000 to fill the actual ATM. The portion of the ATM where you're filling at is called the vault, like a bank vault, right? So with that, your vault cash is basically your operations cash. The way it works is, let's say you put $1,000 inside of your ATM. 25 people come and withdraw, let's say 40 bucks, right? Average in the United States, it's around 40 to $60 per withdrawal. So you got 25 that withdraw uh, 40. Now, the very next business day, the banking network, which is your processing, they replenish that thousand dollars to your business checking account. And then from there, guess what? You also get your profit. So let's say those 25 transactions, right? You're charging like $3 a pop. So you have $75 you just made in one day. Imagine, okay, if, if we got newbies in here, imagine if you made the $75 every single day for a month. How much would that be? That would be around 2,200 bucks, right? Not that bad, right? You're probably wondering like, Paul, no, this sounds too good to be true. Well, here's the thing, guys. That's only an example, okay? Now, can I say or can I guarantee that you're going to get that in every location? I can't. I like going off transparency, having integrity, especially based on what I used to do, guys. I used to be a detective, okay? So with that, what I can tell you 
is simply that you will get eventually, if you keep building your ATM business, you will get a golden goose. That's what I like to call these accounts. Golden goose accounts to me are any accounts where I make in profits $500 and up, okay? Hey, how many of us can say that we get paid $500 a month for literally three minutes of work? I, I wasn't able to say that when I was at my nine to five, okay? Now that I have built multiple businesses, that I have invested over $100,000 in self-education in the past two years, I could for sure build a business that will generate, generate me that type of cash. But what you don't know is what you don't know. And if you're not willing to self-educate yourself, how do you expect to level up, guys? Okay, so that's facts right there. So processing, let's get down to it. Two golden nuggets I'm going to give you guys and make sure you guys are coming close if you guys are watching this on your cell phone or if you guys are watching this on TV or if you guys are watching this on your computer, okay? Make sure you listen up when I say this. No matter what company you go with, whether it's our company or whether it's someone else's company, okay? Make sure you guys are getting two things. And this is from personal experience. Number one, make sure that no company is going to charge you for the actual processing. What does that mean? That means that you actually go ahead and you get the network for free. Just like a cell phone. Where's my cell phone? <laughs> just like a cell phone. Okay. We all got to pay for a network, right? Otherwise it's just a phone, right? I'm going to toss that somebody said, but no guys, all seriousness, make sure you guys get that for free. When I started six years ago, I worked with a major uh, ATM corporation where they sold me six ATMs at a great discount. I think I saved like 200 bucks, right? Who doesn't like to save money, right? I do. So they got me up front where great, great discount. But on the back end, they were taking so much money from my actual transactions every single month. It was ridiculous. I, I, I would literally be like, like almost cry every time I would see my uh, reports on a monthly basis. Like, wow, I cannot believe that they got me like that. So the second go to nugget that I'm going to tell you is please, please, please do not sign a service agreement. Okay. Service agreement, guys, meaning that um, when I started, I signed an agreement for three years, meaning that I couldn't get out of the contract unless I paid them literally thousands of dollars, which I did. My second year, I paid $7,000 to get out, a, uh, out of a service agreement, guys. Ridiculous, right? What could have I done with the $7,000? I could have done a whole lot. So I learned my lesson. Don't do the same thing that I did, guys, because ultimately what you don't know is what you don't know, right? So make sure that you guys are going to get the right information. You guys are doing your due diligence before you start this business because overall self-education is key with any industry. And I'm talking about whether you're in real estate, whether you're an actor, whether you're a first responder, uh, we got a couple of judges as clients, um, whether you're a firefighter, whatever industry you're in, okay? Do your due diligence, please, okay? We got your back, just come shoot me a message. I, I have my phone. It's, 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 it's almost like tied to my belt. Okay, guys. So I'll be able to help you out if no one else will, but I know my team, they got your back as well. Okay. So that goes for processing. Okay. So we're clear on processing. Okay. So for ATM, you want to make sure that you actually go with the same company that's going to offer your ATM as well, because why they're going to give you a discount. They're going to give you a discounted rate if you use more services, guys. So overall, go with the same ATM company that offers you the processing. With that being said, you always want to go brand new when you are new. Why do I say that? From experience, guys. I talk a lot from life experience. I don't talk off of theory, okay? This is stuff that we've done literally hundreds of times. We've helped thousands of clients already. So overall, we, see, we hear horror stories. We're talking about 
I could tell you so many stories, guys. Ink, and that's gonna be ink file. I, I, I saw your comment right there. So, um, no, I, I've heard horror stories. I've heard horror stories where I've had one client, um, elderly uh, client as well, came to me and was like, Paul, man, I wish I would have found your group earlier. Um, these guys, they, they said they would hook me up with ATMs. They, um, I bought two ATMs for $800. And I was just like, you, you did what? <laughs> so they sold them the ATMs that were five years old, but it wasn't the fact that they were five years old. It was just the fact that you couldn't use them. And the main reason why you can't use ATMs, if you do get older versions of the ATMs, is because of two reasons. One, EMV compliance, meaning that they need to have the actual uh, verification for the chips on your debit card or credit cards, okay? I believe this happened in 2017 when they passed that law. If you guys remember, right, um, where they started putting chips and every single debit card or credit card. So the actual ATMs needed to have that reader in order to be put in public because it was basically like a hazard, especially for uh, the criminals that wanted to do fraud. They used to call them sliders, okay? Basically they would slide and it would be taking, uh, scamming other people's money or whatnot, right? So at the end of the day, you gotta do your due diligence Make sure you double check everything because if you don't, I don't want you to get taken advantage of, okay? That's the last thing I want. That's why I always say go with brand new. The second thing is ADA compliant, Americans with Disability Act. So overall, you need the latest and greatest um, devices on the ATM. Every single year, they update this, okay? So whether somebody's deaf or blind, you need the latest devices on the actual ATM. And then here are the, here's the third thing I'm going to tell you guys, okay? The third and final thing. You, you don't want to put an old ATM in a brand new client's business. If I was, <laughs> if I was a restaurant owner, if I was a, uh, I ran a liquor store, if I ran any other cash-driven business, the last thing I would want is for someone to sell me on the dream and be like, man, we about to um, drive more traffic to your business. And then I get uh, RD, RDD2 from Star Wars as in my ETM, okay? It's rusty and old and doesn't even look good, okay? So don't do that to your clients. Get them a brand new ATM. They know the difference, okay, guys? So that go ahead and we cover ATM and processing. Now with locations, let me see my time. Okay, I got to wrap this up because I'm telling you right now, Genom still has to do his thing. I still got to announce the, the goodies for the master class. So I'm going to talk fast. Okay, guys. All right. Let's uh, move this down a little bit right here. So you guys can go ahead and see this. Okay, cool. So location. Location is everything when it comes to the ATM industry. I'm straight up telling that right now, guys. With locations, <laughs> If, if you don't know how to sell, if you don't know how to prospect, okay, then you need to learn. One book that I love, and man, guys, you guys better buy this on Amazon. I'm telling you right now, it's a good read. And I'm not a big reader, but I read this book three times when I started going back into digital marketing, when I started my ATM business, How to Win Friends. How's it go? How to Win Friends and Influence Others by Dale Carnegie. It is a phenomenal book, guys. It's an easy read. You guys are going to love it, okay? That's my, my golden nugget on that part. Now, with locations, let's talk about that real quick. With locations, it has to be cash-driven, guys. What does that mean? That means that if you walk into any business and you're having a hard time trying to figure out, hmm, is the ATM going to do good here? Guess what? It more than likely won't, okay? So let's go into the ROI formula real quick so I can show you exactly what you guys need to look at when you guys are going into the business. And then also, you guys are going to be able to watch the replay of this training tomorrow, okay? So you guys could go back to it. So follow along. Trust me, I know I talk fast, but you can watch this over and over again. Please do so. We leave all the recordings 
uh, as long as this group's uh, available, which I mean, I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and flip back to the whiteboard. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, let me go ahead and do this, guys. All right, guys. So with that being said, it has to be cash driven. What does cash driven mean? Cash driven means urgency. What is urgency? Means that it is the reason why your clients are actually going to use your ATM. Okay. Let's say I'm at a food truck, which actually happened to me. I'm going to say two weeks ago. Okay. San Diego food trucks, the beach, phenomenal. Right. So I was eating my favorite tacos and I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm like, wow, I literally just spend $5 paying another ATM deployer. That's what you would call yourself. That's, that's ATM industry jargon. Okay. I paid $5 to take out a hundred dollars. And I was just like, why didn't I carry cash? That's the way it works. That's why I always laugh when people are like, Hmm, people still use cash. Yes, they do. There's still food trucks, guys. Majority of food trucks do not use merchant services. That means the credit cards, the credit card, the credit card sliders, because they charge the business owner. So it's the reverse of what ATMs are doing for the business owner, which is a great selling point, by the way, if you guys are in sales. So let's continue back with this, guys. So cash driven, meaning urgency, okay? Now, great example. I just did an ad with a car wash. The car wash was cash only, meaning that all their workers... That's all they were accepting, okay? So I talked to the owner that day and they roughly get around 400 people at that car wash simply because, hey, it's near the airport. It is one of the only car washes that does hand car washes, okay? I don't want my car to get scratched through the car wash, guys. So I want the hand wash, right? So with that being said, we know based on our training and experience, in the ATM industry, that three to five percent of approximately the daily traffic is going to use the ATM if it is a cash driven business. OK, that's just based off experience, guys. So since the car wash. Is cash only, hey, that's going to give me a pretty good reason to use the ATM, right? So we're going to go with five percent for this example. OK, at five percent right here. If you were to take that out of the 400, you got about 20 transactions. That means that you got 20 clients using that ATM on a daily basis at minimum. Okay. Now, with that being said, we like to go ahead and bring it down here. Let's go ahead so you guys get a good angle of this. All right. 20 transactions, average fee, $3 in the United States. Now, don't get me wrong. Trust me. Back in San Francisco, I was charging an arm and a leg. It's a business, guys. You got to charge accordingly, right? So with that, you got the $3 fee. That equals $60 daily, guys. $60 from your ATM that's doing the job for you, okay? Now, let's take the screen down here. All right, so at $60 a day, times that by 30 days. Let's say that the business is open for 30 days, okay? Every single day out of the month, right? That's $1,800 gross profit. Now, I'm going to get a lot of people saying, hmm, well, Paul, that is gross profit. It doesn't mean that it's net profit, which you're absolutely right. But on average, if you're giving the, the actual owner 25% of your surcharge transaction, okay? How much is that for all of my math whiz? It's around four, I'm gonna say 425, 450 possibly, right? I'm not that good at math guys, but overall you guys will know it's around 400, right? So even if you guys were to get, I don't know, 1,000, 1,200, 1,300 off of that deal, after all of your expenses, then what? Is it still a bad deal to purchase one ATM? I don't think so. And this is the reason why. If you want to do this business yourself, 
ATM is roughly going to cost you anywhere between $2,300 to $2,700 that's shipped. Okay. So make sure you add this up. Your internet modem is going to cost around $150. Your monthly rate is going to be around six bucks. That's going to be for the internet service. Your processing should be free. The only thing that's going to hold you back is going to be the actual location. Location is everything, guys. So overall, you can easily start this business with around five to seven thousand dollars by yourself that's amazing right and the reason why i say that's amazing because i can't think of one industry and trust me i'm an investor with several industries real estate now crypto since last year atms and now digital marketing stocks as well keep forgetting about stocks i just i just let it sit but with that being said, I don't know of any under, other industry that gives you that type of return on investment, okay? So we even got real estate investors that will say the same thing. We're talking about real estate investors that have been in the game for 10, 15 years, if you guys do your due diligence inside of this group. Now, with that being said, if you guys are excited to get some help with your LLC, we're gonna have a very special training by my teammate, get him, Jonas. And you can see over there, he's already pumped. He got the ATM. I'm ready. Together. He got the ATM together logo behind him. Like, he's like, yeah, let's do this, right? <laughs> All right, guys, go ahead, pump him up. Go ahead and comment LLC if you guys are ready, if you guys want the latest tips. And uh, yeah, take it, take it, get him. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, guys, thank you, Paul, first of all, having me on here again. If you guys are excited, for this training, right? You want to, at least some tips. Even if you have your LLC, you might as well get some tips when you form another one. Type LLC below. LLC for the guys that need a little help spelling like me. LLC below. Let's help with the algorithms. People are going to watch this. We're live on Instagram. Thousands of people are going to watch this and see your comments. Type LLC below. All right. So a little bit about myself. I was in a high paying career. Parents, immigrants. We spoke about this before. Grew up with nothing, powdered milk. Learned everything on my own. How many of you guys learn things on your own, right? You don't rely on anybody. Maybe you're like me, you go through the YouTube Academy. Once in a while, maybe you use that encyclopedia. I might be dating myself. Does anyone still use encyclopedias? Well, I learned about LLCs. I learned about businesses by myself, right? Google, different sources. I was actually reading the tax code. I literally going through the IRS website, getting copies of paperwork and reading about it. So I knew it was for something special and I finally figured it out. It's for the training for you guys. Okay. I just want to pass on the tips I learned about LLCs. Okay. So a lot of people ask, well, why an LLC? And first of all, what does LLC even stand for? Well, it's limited liability company, limited liability corporation, whatever you want to call it. Different states call it different things. Now, the reason why you're going to want an LLC is this. Protection, first of all. You want to protect your assets, right? How many of you guys have houses, cars, families? Do you want to be in court and all of a sudden they're saying, hey, can you list out all your different things you own because of this happened? No, I don't. So that's why I say protect yourself. So the first thing you can do is form an LLC. Okay. Now, when you're forming a company, there's different options, right? So first of all, there's a sole proprietorship. Sole proprietorships are the, the way you think about it is like you are your own business, your name. So think about it like this. When you see a street vendor, like a taco truck, typically when you just start, you want to start off cheap, you just start doing business, right? Maybe you're mowing lawns, you'd be a sole proprietor technically. Then when you want to get official, you want to create an entity, then you would actually form and file with your state, okay? So there's LLCs and there's corporations. Now, you're probably wondering what's the difference. LLC corporation, well, it gets even more confusing because there's different types of corporations. There's a C corporation and there's an S corporation. And I know it's a lot of information. I totally understand. But here's the reason why we say start with limited liability companies.